Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And precious saints, today is day four of the four-day July prayer and fasting. It's time for us to get on fire for God within this hour. Somebody say hallelujah. But God is speaking to someone today. The Lord is saying today, I will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. My child, have I not said and will I not perform my word and my promises for those that put their trust in me? I see the mockers and the haters that have wished your downfall. And will I not vindicate you, my child? Do not be worried about those that slander your name or those that have stolen from you. For are they not children of the devil? But I will arise, my child, and see your vindication. Yes, there are those that have been against you. And their father, the devil, was defeated on the cross. And he must return back seven times that has been stolen from you, my child. Yes, I am getting ready to vindicate you so that the enemy will bow at my presence and retreat from pursuing you. I am releasing more of my anointing to cover you from the onslaught of slander. See, the enemy will use slander as a strategy to exhaust you, to discourage you and to wear you down. Many that have done great exploits for me have been literally exhausted and weakened by the slander of others. Yes, my child, it is the agenda of the accuser of the brethren to interrupt certain assignments that I have you placed upon. I know every person that has done you wrong, every injustice and every plot to see your downfall. And know that what the locusts have devoured shall be restored to you. You will be compensated. You will be honored and blessed and vindicated. People will know that I have ruled in your favor. But my child, you cannot do it in your own strength. Therefore, it is not by your might. It is not by your power, but it is by the power of my Holy Spirit. I desire for my spirit to be poured out upon all flesh. Are you hungry for my spirit today? At times you have thought that I had forgotten you and even left you alone upon the battlefield of the enemy. But I have never left you, and I've been standing right near you, wanting to fight on your behalf. But I can only fight the battles that you surrender over to me. For I stand waiting to vindicate you. I have not forsaken you. I see the arrows that have been thrown at you. I see the rejection, and I see all the storms that you have passed through. The enemy is being exposed today, and I am expelling him from your borders and your boundaries. Things are coming to light that will vindicate your confidence in my dealings within your situation. I am working to uphold you and to keep you from the snares that the enemy will set to cause you to stumble. Get ready to literally see mouths silenced before your very eyes. For I am going to close the mouth of the liars, the slanderers that have put their tongue upon you. Yes, even the mutterers, that foul spirit seeks to defame you in spite of all the good that you have done and are doing. I am with you, my child. You have nothing to worry when I am by your side. Therefore, be at peace this day. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Hebrews 5 verse 7, during the days of Jesus's life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with fervent cries and tears to the one who could save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverent submission. Somebody say hallelujah. Jesus prayed. He prayed fervently without 
prayer, we cannot achieve the things that we wish to do. Jesus has given us authority. According to Luke 10 verse 19, it says, Behold, I have given you authority authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall hurt you precious saints no matter what you are going through today no matter what is happening around you god will vindicate you god will take care of your battles but we need to understand we are in the midst of a spiritual battle and if you think that lukewarm praying is going to stop hell and bind destroying devils we are grossly deceived precious saints every great move of God in the Bible or in the history of God's saints always screams out the answer according to Matthew eleven twelve: the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force in fact no revival starts from nowhere though it can come suddenly all revivals are birthed through prayer and if we want to see revival we need to learn to dig the wells of revival what will it cost it will cost us our blood our sweat our tears our time our prayers our money everything it will cost you stuff That's right, we must be willing to tarry in prayer, precious saints, since why you will always see me encouraging prayer or speaking words of life in faith, but God decides the time when revival comes. See, our battle is not against human force or flesh powers, but against all the forces of darkness. Our Heavenly Father is always looking for somebody to stand in the gap in travailing prayer. Prayer, interceding, travailing. Prayer is God's first line of spiritual operation. When God is ready to do something marvelous, it will always be birthed in prayer. And he will speak because according to Amos 3, 7, God does nothing first before he speaks through his prophets. Precious saints, I know God is about to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Not only do I know through the scriptures, but also I believe prophetically that God is about to do it. And we just need to position ourselves. We need to keep digging the wells of revival, precious saints, because Because it will cost us a lot, precious saints, but we must continue to press in through prayer. See, powerful prayer can do more than what we think we can in the flesh because it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by the power of the Holy Spirit. Prayer that has no divine element and anointing is just like the dead letter of the law without the unction of the Holy Spirit. It kills instead of resurrects. We need the type of prayer that is working alongside the Holy Spirit. I believe that in this weekend, as you're starting to understand the calling of being a true intercessor, you will also have this feeling of stepping out in prayer and knowing God is about to move within this hour. It is time for us to step in. It is time for us to press in like never before. I believe revival's coming. And as you start to pray on behalf of your nation, your family and your home, your community, God is about to do something. Get ready. The floodgates of heaven are about to open. God is going to render the heavens open once more in such a powerful way prior to the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ. So Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we recognize that by virtue of our relationship with you, Lord, that we have also need to engage today in warfare with the kingdom of Satan. Yes, Lord. And our first step today is to declare that our 
absolute allegiance is to you, Lord Jesus, the captain of the Lord's hosts and our Lord and our personal Savior. We commit ourselves to you and your leadership wholeheartedly, and we place our lives fully into your hands. As your word tells us, we equip ourselves now with the full armor of God of Ephesians 6 so that we can stand victorious in this battle. We also pull down in the mighty name of Jesus any stronghold or strong man within our life that may hinder us today. Lord Jesus, help us in this battle so that we can follow you without any obstructions. Lord, we also remove any high places any thrones, any gates or altar within our life that may be hindering us, any allegiance to any old patterns or old behaviors that may be offensive to you. We lay it all down today, Lord Jesus, and we place it at your feet. Lord, today, as we press in, knowing that you are going to do something, we pray for breakthrough in every area of each person's life. I command every stronghold home around their life to be brought down today in the name of Jesus Christ. Every stronghold to be pulled down within their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I declare and decree that every stronghold within their life to be destroyed, to be dismantled, and every demon cast out right now to go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, any agents of darkness that are masquerading, Lord, around their lives, be exposed and brought to the light in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare today, Lord, that you will vindicate each person. Lord, I pray today that you will bring an absolute great outpouring of your Holy Spirit within their lives as they press into you today more now than ever before. Come and touch your people from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Come and fill them. Come and touch them today. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord, precious saints. There is someone and God is saying that um, there's going to be breakthrough. There's going to be a release of money that's going to come to you that you never even thought of. In actual fact, it's going to be a surprise when it comes to you. So get ready to receive that, whoever that person is today, or just receive it on behalf of your family also in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I pray, let there be a release. Let you, Lord, I pray that you would send forth your ministering angels that come to open the way, that come to bring provision. Lord, I pray for that provision to come to that person today in the name of Jesus Christ. I also speak to that person today. If there's someone with a sore throat, you have a sore throat. I'm not sure if it's tonsillitis, but there is someone with a sore throat right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I just want you to declare right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray that as they place their hand upon their throat right now, Lord, I speak to that throat right now. Now and I say, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to those tonsils to be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray also for someone with wisdom teeth. There is someone with an issue of wisdom teeth. Lord, I declare today, Lord, that all pain in the wisdom teeth shall be removed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I also speak to eyesight right now. Eyesight. I speak complete healing to that eyesight right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That eyesight right now in the name of Jesus Christ we speak healing we speak healing we speak divine healing right now to come in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ Lord I also pray for someone today that has an issue Lord there is someone that has an issue um you have like it's like a headache um that that comes and goes 
uh, within your life. And I'm just going to pray that this headache may be removed completely. And any tumor, anything that is pressuring, anything that is causing this particular headache to come about, any spiritual infirmity connected to it shall leave your body in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare today that every source that is coming against them in the area of headaches, in the area of migraines, I declare today that it will leave you right now. It will leave you right now. It will leave you right now. It will leave you. It will leave you. It will leave your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare it right now. I declare it right now. I declare it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also speak to that person that's having issues with their balance right now. I declare today every issue that is coming against your balance right now in the name of Jesus Christ shall leave you also in the name of Jesus Christ. That dizziness will leave you in the name of Jesus. All dizziness that is coming upon you will leave you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak complete healing. Now, if you have pain on your body in any area at all right now, I want you to place your hand there. There's also God is saying that some of the heart condition right now, I want you to place your hand upon your heart and receive Receive your healing right now for that heart issue right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Any other part of your body, just place your hand right now and you will see and experience the healing of God's touch coming upon you right now. Just receive it. Just receive it, precious saints. Receive your healing now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing now now in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare also that doors are going to open in the area of employment. I want you to receive this by faith. If you haven't applied for a job, apply for it today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I declare today that all those that are looking for employment or all those that are waiting on promotion to come from this day, as they hear this word and as they step up in their actions, action. Lord, to walk in that authority, to walk in that promise, to walk in that blessing and that blessed assurance of knowing not only are they saved, but they are a child of the King and they also have an inheritance from Him and that He will provide for them according to their riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I declare that the Bible says according to Psalm 75 verse 6 and 7, it says promotion does not come from the east or the west or the south. But it comes from what? It comes from God. And he will pull one man down and exalt another. I declare today employment doors to open. Promotions to come in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as they are a child of the God, as they remember they're not working for a boss, they work for God. So they must work even better. So I declare it right now. Open doors to each person that is listening will receive it and also testify in Jesus mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And congratulations to all those people that have been partaking of the four-day fast for this particular day time in July. Precious saints, it is time to get that desire to pray for revival in this hour. If you've liked this utterance today, you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook or Instagram, or follow any of our WhatsApp groups if you haven't joined already. Send us an email. We'll send you the link for your country so you can join. Not to, it's not a fellowship thing, but it's basically keeping you updated with things as a secondary reminder and also you can share the content to all your contacts on WhatsApp to stir other people to revival. You can send also the audio clips that we uh, normally uh, also uh, send off to people to listen also. So may the Lord bless you today. So today is day four of that and precious saints, I am heading to Africa. I'm heading to South Africa for all those 
that want to participate, we are going to have an all-night prayer this coming Friday, the 4th of August, at the Evandale Complex, Precious Saints, and I encourage all those that are in Johannesburg, come to this all-night conference, this all-night prayer. We're going to be praying seriously for revival in the nations. We're going to try to have it live as well for those that are around the world also, but please make an effort to come. Ring the number now. Contact that number. Let them know that you're coming to reserve a seat to make sure that you are able to come it will be secure. It will be safe. It is a very good venue. You don't have to fear anything. God is there. His angels are going to be surrounding that place like nothing else. Precious saints, then we're heading off to East London. If you're in East London and East Cape of South Africa, make every effort to come to that meeting. Then we're coming back and we have the three-day conference within Johannesburg at the Birchwood Hotel. We have a thousand plus venue. If you haven't thought about coming, if you've been before and you're hesitant, come, come. You've got to keep on fire for God. Don't just lose that fire. You've got to stay on fire, precious saints. Then after that, we are heading to Cape Town. We are going to two different places. We're going to a big homestead farm on one particular location and we're going to another community hall place in another for two days if you're in cape town don't say to me oh pastor i couldn't get there i couldn't afford it please make every effort to plan now you've had a long time to prepare otherwise when i leave people send me emails Oh, Pussy, can you pray for me? No, I don't want to receive those. Make every effort to come to the meeting. Stop allowing the devil to tell you you can't come. It's like when I say to people, okay, you got two months to prepare. And then when say, oh, sorry, Pastor, I can't come. How can you already say you can't come? God can open the doors in two months. Okay, so get ready to come. Now, we're also heading to Namibia. If you're in Namibia, and you've already said you're not coming, but you've got two months before I'm coming. How can you know that God's not going to open a miracle for you to come? So make sure you make effort. I'm talking about for those that really desire revival. If you desire revival in your nation, then come because we have no other agenda but for praying for revival. Precious saints, then after Namibia, we're heading to Kenya. Kenya is going to be serious business. I think Kenya may be the country that gets the revival if the others don't ship up and shape out because those people are serious in Kenya for revival. We are coming there. We are starting off with a three-day conference. Then we're going to be led by the Spirit to many other different places. If you're in Kenya and you follow this ministry, you will also have no excuse but to come because we make the stuff available free of charge. You've just got to prepare yourself. There has to be a requirement. You also have to invest into prayer, into your time, into also making, uh, uh, setting aside money to get to the location and to come prepare now. We're also heading to uh, Uganda. I'll let you know more about that. It's not going to be what I thought with the with the whole conference, but it will be going to all different locations, reaching outreach to many different rural places, going to Ginger, going to um, East Uganda and different places. And that. so for those in Uganda, get ready. Uh, you guys need to get hungry in Uganda. That's all I can say. You guys, you, you guys are on the WhatsApp group, but you got to get hungry. I don't see you responding. We're over 200, 300 people there, but you guys are not hungry. You got to be hungry. And this goes to all nations. If you're not hungry, your hunger will determine your visitation because when this comes, I won't be bothering to sending all these messages. It will then up to you to follow what's going on because this thing's going to blow up. So don't say I didn't tell you. Don't say I didn't warn you because when it happens, don't expect me to reply to your emails. I will be too busy with revival. And if you got to just make sure you get your place there. So if I'm inviting you to come now, take advantage of that now because later people will just come from everywhere. People come from everywhere. I won't have time to even reply to emails. So take advantage now 
because I'm investing, I'm sowing into these countries, my time, my effort, my finances, everything to see revival. May revival come to the nations. I pray for all those internationally. If you haven't already, you are invited to these revivals. You can go to Kenya. You can go to Namibia. You can go to Uganda. I would suggest Kenya. I would suggest um, Namibia. I would suggest South Africa at this particular time because we're going to be on the road in Uganda a lot. So may the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.